hello viewers in today's video i will show you how you can unbreak uh, huawei p20 light my phone is currently stuck in uh, twrp recovery mode you can see uh, it is only rebooting to recovery mode which is twrp recovery mode so i will show you how you can install uh, stock firmware on a bricked huawei p20 light bootloader need to be unlocked and uh, this uh, guide is only applicable for uh, EMUI 9 devices so first thing you need to do is uh, enter in bootloader mode viewers you can enter bootloader mode by holding volume down button and uh, then you need to uh, hold volume down and power button or you can simply tap on reboot in uh, TWRP and quickly hold volume down and phone should enter fast boot mode. phone just entered bootloader mode and now we will check which version is installed inside phone we will open the cmd here and uh, here you need to type command fastboot space oem space get dash uh, build dash number and it will show you the installed version inside phone viewers we need same firmware or an older version uh, ota files you can download from firmware finder uh, uh, website and uh, I will uh, download the version which is installed in my phone. It is uh, C43 ver two version. So I will download. I have already downloaded the files. You can also download from this website for free. And if you don't know how to download, I can give you the links. Okay. Then you need to copy these files in this folder and uh, the main file will remain same but the cust version, the cust file you need to rename like this and if your phone does not have the preload file on website you can rename the cust file with preload also. You can use the same file for preload. Once you have done it you need to open that flash.bat file and it will give you the instructions viewers you can see the names of those who build this script for unbreaking so all credit goes to these people okay uh, for uh, using this script uh, we need uh, i think we need adb interface so the adb interface will work in twrp recovery mode so basically this uh, script will guide you with each step you can see that it is asking you to copy the zip files and then renaming those zip files it is uh, giving you complete guide but phone needs to be in adb mode you can see it is saying adb device not found so we will uh, reboot our phone in twrp recovery mode if your phone don't have twrp recovery you must flash twrp recovery first and then you should connect your phone with computer okay i will uh, reboot my phone to twrp recovery so that adb interface can be detected on my computer otherwise uh, because phone cannot reboot to normal mode so adb will not work only a, uh, twrp recovery will enable the t uh, the adb interface okay now phone is going to reboot in twrp recovery and we can see adb interface appeared on pc and now we will uh, run that flash.bat file again and uh, just uh, press enter and follow the instructions okay and now it will uh, when you will press enter it will try to reboot your phone to bootloader mode because my phone is bricked and cannot enter fastboot mode automatically so we need to uh, enter fastboot mode manually so what i will do i will press reboot and uh, when screen goes black i will uh, simply uh, hold the volume down key okay 
and phone will enter fast boot mode and then we can continue with the script then we will press enter and uh, just follow the instructions now it is saying after pressing any key you need to disconnect phone and quickly hold volume up button this way your phone will enter twrp recovery so this is what we need to do we will press uh, any button from keyboard and uh, then we will quickly disconnect our phone and hold volume up key so the phone can enter twrp recovery mode again and then the rest of the procedure will start Once phone is in TWRP recovery, we will uh, again uh, press any key uh, on our uh, uh, CMD screen so that process can, pro uh, can proceed further. We are waiting for uh Okay, now it will copy those zip files to your uh, phone storage so it can take a little bit longer i have just uh, doubled the speed of the video so it it might look a little bit faster but uh, in reality it will be very slow just keep following the instructions in script and keep pressing the key until your phone reboots and uh, once uh, your phone reboots you can uh, uh, close the script and uh, installation will start on your phone viewers now this installation can take um, uh, almost five minutes so uh, after uh, during this installation at uh, the at the uh, 90 percent you will get uh, error that installation failed that is absolutely fine you can ignore that error and you can proceed uh, with that uh, with the pro uh, with the, the reboot okay so just don't worry if any error appears around uh, 92 or 95 you can see the update is uh, going on the video speed is increased so you will notice a quick imp uh, the quick progress in installation and now uh, you will see that error where it will say that installation has failed so that is absolutely fine okay you can see that error no problem just press reboot system now and your phone should uh, reboot uh, normally if your phone does not reboot you can simply uh, wipe data factory reset by entering the recovery mode okay viewers phone has just rebooted so we will go through the initial configurations viewers you can also use uh, this method to remove custom rom from your phone you can go back to stock firmware by using this method okay we are at home screen but uh, you can see that pink screen is, is appeared there 
and uh, lots of applications will be missing so basically this firmware is incomplete even though it is showing the correct version but this firmware is incomplete so what we what we are going to do is uh, we need to connect to wi-fi and after connecting wi-fi you need to check for updates inside phone or you can simply connect uh, uh, your phone with high suit and you can check for latest firmware viewers you are advised not to use the latest version you if you use the older version of emgui 9.1 only then you can update to newer version if you use the newer new version the latest version then system cannot find the latest firmware and you will not be able to uh, install it the other way will be to use e-recovery method okay when i check for up update i can see the full firmware version is available which is the latest one so i will simply tap on download and install and uh, now it is going to take few minutes to download uh, the firmware okay viewers i have just skipped that uh, step the firmware was downloaded and installed automatically and now I am going to show you that uh, latest version is installed and now we can see the home screen is blue which is very normal thing thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel